Hello everybody, this is Miss Corn, and a lot of people were asking me about the virtual background, how it's done. So today I want to show you, I'm over here on Zoom already, and right here next to this camera little icon, there is a little arrow. So I go up on the arrow, go to virtual background, and here we are. And these are some, I, some virtual backgrounds that I have, I'll just touch on some the classroom, that little welcome to Miss Corn's class that you've seen before, little sunset, the, the notebook, welcome back to school. Anyway, have all these beautiful backgrounds today and the Humpty Dumpty that I showed before on another video. And today I got crazy into picking up some more, like a happy birthday one. When the children start having their birthdays, I'm probably going to use this one. I noticed that I can use this for the insect units and I want my backgrounds to work for me as part of the of the teaching tool to help me. Here's the Lego building when we get to the building unit. Here's some ABCs. I could even do the ABC chart and point to the letters on the background. So I'm trying to use it as much as possible. Here is the three Billy Goats Groth. And of course, I'm going to get out of the way when I'm presenting to them Jack and Jill. I love this one, have different nursery rhymes. We can look into it and try to, you know, find the nursery rhyme. Like here's the Itsy Bitsy Spider and Jack and Jill and Baba Black Sheep, Little Miss Muffin. Anyway, so it's kind of like it's like sparks some interest and in that they don't know what's going to be the next day, what they're going to find on these virtual backgrounds. I found a really cool about winter. When we start talking about winter, we can... You know, use this picture as a started to a lot of conversation, things we can do in the winter, things we can wear when we're in the winter, and why she's wearing all those clothes. And then here's spring, and put some cute little things. And I have a little uh, whimsical one, and I'm sure, you know, that they're going to love that. So anyway, so you want to know how to do it, right? Yes. Okay. So do you see this plus button over here? Add image. So you are going to add an image. And you're going to add an image from your files. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how I kind of get the images from the, from the internet. But here is my files. And when I want to add an image, I pretty much... Here, I'm going to add this one again. So you can see I click on it. I open. And there it is, my image is right there. Now, if you don't have images on your file, this is how you get your images on your file. So let me kind of go. And we're going to go to our friend Google. And we're going to Google some images. So let's say you just open up Google and over here you go and uh, let's see, we want to find summer. Summer images. And here they are. So let's choose a nice one that we can use with our students. I'm going to more images. Let's see. Um, I don't know. This looks like a good one. So I go there. Some images they allow you to. So let me see. I'm going to open in a new tab to see what I can See, see if it's a good size. Here it is. And then I just right click again. Um, save image as. I'm going to, this is summer. I'm going to save it. And if all goes well, this image will be in my file. Okay, so now I'm back to Zoom. I'm back to that little camera icon. Choose virtual background. And then I'm going to get the plus sign add image and i'm going to look for that summer hold on looking for that summer one that i just brought it down let's see here it is here's the summer picture i click on open and here we are we are at summertime and uh, let me make it big so you can see so okay. here's the summer picture and you just keep adding pictures you keep doing this thing and i have great backgrounds now one last thing i want to tell you that is very very important i want to show you behind the scenes on my background and here it is this is what it looks like when i don't have any background it's a green screen 
So it's very important that you get yourself a green screen. Now I have one that I bought online, but a colleague of mine said that she went to the 99 cent store, got a green tablecloth and has been using, and it seems like it's working for her. So something that is green with a nice shade of green, and you just put it behind you, and that's what makes the magic. Also light is important to have like a nice lighting. Um, you know uh, in the room so it can pick up the screen and don't wear green when you're using the green screen nothing green because if you show anything that's green it is not going to show up on your screen all right another really cool thing that i just learned how to do today is this video filters check this out i touch over here and it's and i can put little filters on oh i have a little halo on my face now imagine the kids when they come and you know what i mean i just show up on the screen with a little filter just for a little bit just to kind of get them you know giggling about things and then you know i mean every now and then i can put a little filter and what is so cool look it moves with you it's so great i was playing with it and getting so excited about this you know and again, you know what I mean? Is that element of surprise because you, you want the kids to want to come to this class and be excited about like, oh, what's Miss Corn going to do next? <laughs> is she going to be, what is she, what is she doing? And trust me, I'm having so much fun. We just had the, the crazy hat day. This would have been so, it would have been really fun if I had, you know, known about this uh, before. But anyway. You know what I mean? This is another thing that can really, you know, jazz things up for for us, make things funny. We can be inside the television. And I mean, really, it's so much fun. It's just so much fun that, you know, I, I, I hope you have all these features on your uh, computer too and that you can uh, utilize all this. All right. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Let me see what it looks like on the big screen. Oh, there we go. Yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet. I don't know what you're waiting for because I don't even know what I'm going to come up with next. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.